fancy medicine physician. You were, if I notice, you notice correctly, you were kind of licking your lips when that body works category came up a few moments ago. Made you feel good. Now tell you, tell me about something that made you feel bad. It has to do with traveling down south, Central America. Correct. So we were in Costa Rica. And I was actually learning medical Spanish. We were traveling between towns. And somehow I drove the rental car. And the car, I must have missed a turn or something because our road gradually became a farm road and then gradually became a ditch. And then eventually I let the, the, the rental car was hovering over the ditch. We had to all abandon ship, get out, walk two miles in the middle of the night to get back to the nearest town and to go get the car the next day. Next day. Okay, good. Rachel Bauman, graduate student from Bethesda, Maryland. Hit on by an impersonator while you were visiting Moscow? Yes. Um... A group of my Russian and American friends were in Moscow and we encountered three impersonators of one in Stalin and Putin. Um, each of them were charging a certain price for a picture with them individually. Uh, so I just said, oh, I'll take one and that's fine. But Stalin came up around me, put his arm around me and started whispering in my ear in Russian and sort of petting my hair. Um, and we thought he was going to charge uh, extra money, but he said, no, 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 it's, it's free. <laughs> It's a little known fact in Russian history that Stalin really had an eye for the young ladies. John Avila, attorney from Arlington, Virginia. Like so many of our champions on Jeopardy, a collector of things. Special things for you when you were younger. Yes, I, uh, when I was younger, I collected Major League Baseball ice cream helmets, um, like the kinds that you either get at the stadium or an ice cream uh, store. Um, I collected, I managed to collect 29 of them, but for some reason I could never get the San Francisco Giants. We went to all different kinds of ice cream shops. Um, I begged my parents to take us out to San Francisco just so I could eat the ice cream. Uh, but uh, unfortunately we never made it, but I did finally complete the collection. I had to cheat a little bit, and I found one on eBay. Okay. Hey, if you can't go to the stadium, go to eBay. All right, let's get back into this race.